Yeah, just, you know, so special to coach against Laura Harper uh, and to see how far she's come in, in her career. Uh, so passionate, really, really proud of her. I uh, shared with the team, 2006 Most Outstanding Player. So we always love when we can bring her back home. Uh, as I told the team before this game, we knew Towson was going to be hungry for a win. I thought they uh, competed like that, especially in that first 20 minutes. But I uh, loved where we were after that first quarter. We had 10 assists and, and only one turnover. That's been something we've been intentional about, building that, that positive uh, assist to turnover ratio. Uh, clearly, Shai set that tone, 10 assists, no turnovers. Loved being able to see that. And then six players in double figures with that unselfishness. Uh, the last time we, we saw that was in 20. 2021. So you're starting to see that depth that, that we have. And uh, in the five games we've played, just different combinations, different ways for, for us to be able to win. So I uh, just want to continue to, to keep building on this. Hey, y'all. Um, Shy, for you. <laughs> All the numbers that Brenda just kind of rattled off, um, you know, such a complete offensive game today. What did you like most? about how the entire unit played together, um, particularly on the offensive end? Yeah, I think we played super unselfish. Um, you see most of everybody that took a shot is, was shooting over 50%. Um, that's huge. Um, again, talking, going back to the assists, 27 assists, it's phenomenal in getting everybody in. Um, it's just huge for us being able to, you know, I feel like the difference between this year and last year is just not so much wear and tear on our bodies. Um, just being able to go that deep is going to um, pay dividends in the long run. And a quick one for you, Sailor. Um, just could you share how you feel your progression is coming along? You look like you're getting more and more comfortable, probably a little bit healthier, I assume, also. But just how is your game kind of developing in this early part of the season? Yeah, I think just being patient uh, every game, I get a little more comfortable just continuing to play with my teammates. And I mean, trusting in them, they trust in me. So I think I, I have a really good situation and opportunity to kind of get loose and, you know, play free. So it's been good. Yeah, Sailor, you recombined for a third of the team's first quarter points. What was working early in that first quarter? What was clicking early? I think our ball movement was really good. Uh, like she said, we played really unselfish, and I think just continuing to get that next pass, or maybe you know we had a good shot but got a better one. So I think just com coming in and you know being unselfish and seeing that next pass has really been helpful and helped us in the first quarter. Yeah, for uh, Sailor and Kaylee, you guys uh, combined for seven threes tonight. Since the first game, you guys have kind of been really efficient from deep. What do you think is kind of contributing to you guys making so many threes and just getting good looks from there? I think just. It it flows. Uh, like I said, we we have really good ball movement, so we're we're getting open shots. And I think when we, you know, move without the ball or we penetrate, dribble, drive, like we're getting kind of that best shot. So just continuing to get those easy shots. No, that was it. <laughs> um, for Cheyenne, just earlier you mentioned about ball movement. You had 10 assists today, one off your career high. Can you just talk about how you were finding your teammates on the floor and getting them easy baskets? Yeah, um, they were just moving. Um, like we said, ball movement, um, making the defense work, um, not taking like the first shot, I think um, really helped. And then just attacking, I feel like they played a lot of zone. So just being able to penetrate and then kick, um, I do a good job of drawing people, so just passing it back out. I would have had 11 if I made a better pass to Sailor, though. <laughs> I reminded her. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, uh, Kayleen, your fourth straight 20-point-plus game. Um, just talk about your growth on the offensive end so far this season, how you've been able to be so consistent throughout the early going. Um, I think this is just how I play. I mean, Consistency is something that I take pride on. I don't want to come out one day and have a good game the next day. I feel like there's always something, even if I'm not scoring well, there's always something else I can do on the floor well. So I just do what my team needs. Uh, for any of the players, what was it like to see Ava McKenney score her first points for the team out there today? Those were her first points. That wasn't her first yeah. point. No? no, she scored in UMBC. Oh. And we went crazy. Oh, yeah. first well, pass. I always I feel. I mean, she had a lot of energy. Yeah, yeah. I love I'm it. Saying, <laughs> it feels great. Ava deserves it. Thanks, John. Hey, Brenda. Um, 
almost kind of a little bit of the same thing that we're kind of talking with them. What what were you most impressed by um, with the way you guys played offense today? And is secondly, kind of coming, I don't know, was it coming out of halftime? It, it, it seemed like you guys picked up the defense in the second half. And, and, and what did you tweak or have a conversation about um, coming out of halftime? Yeah, I think it was twofold. We talked about wanting to come out and, and set the tone, which I, I thought we did in that first quarter. Uh, and you see, we're, we're starting to, to really build our, our chemistry, 10 assists, uh, one turnover. Uh, challenged our bench at halftime. I, I was disappointed with the, the depth and, and the waves. Uh, and I'm not talking about the seven starters, but um, the, the depth that we want to be able to, to go to, uh, we want to continue to raise that play. And I thought we came in and we had breakdowns uh, that, that hurt us. Um, I loved the response in, in the second half, though. That's, that's what you're looking for. Um, and it's early, so so we're trying to, to build the, those habits, and uh, especially as we're watching, to be able to come in and, and make plays. So defensively, we did get uh, you know more sound as a team, uh, especially that that second half. Yeah, Coach Ali Kubek scored her thousand thousand thousandth career career point this season. Uh, what does that mean for her, and how special has she been, especially going against her former team? Yeah, it was kind of fitting uh, to, to see that her thousandth point came today uh, against her former team. But uh, Allie's a, a tremendous scorer for for us. And, you know, being able to have that inside, outside presence, uh, especially she's hard to guard when uh, she's, you know, getting those plays inside as well as when she's uh, back to shooting the ball consistently from the three-point line where I know she's going to get back to. Coach, when uh, Coach Harper was in here talking to us, she uh, she had a lot of praise for your team. She called you guys a Final Four team, but she also had a lot of praise for you. Said you kind of shaped her as a leader, and and she kind of takes your attitude to every game that she coaches. What does that mean to you? Uh, well, that's that's incredible. Uh, Laura and I, I have a really special relationship, and I'm so proud of, of Laura and everything she's. Uh, developed into you think back to the recruiting process and and coaching her in college and to watch that growth being a head coach now and I've been here every step of the way to to be able to help her uh, into that transition so um, proud of her and uh, you know the, the, her development and you know many more long years for her in this coaching career. Uh, coach I know we talked a lot about the depth but six players scoring in double figures and only uh, one player was scoreless uh what does that say for the team going forward like how does that help you and help your team's confidence that's the the balance that we want to have we we want to get everyone to score and we were pretty close to to that tonight and and had those opportunities for amari but those have been our championship teams. I've shared that with them. Uh, the national championship team had five players that averaged in double figures. We have seven right now that are all averaging over seven points. And that's going to go up with the, the, the chemistry now that, that's being built. So then you have to pick your poison. I, I think when you're scouting us, we're really difficult to figure out who to stop. And then it also is per game plan when we're able to see who's hot and, and where we need to go on the offensive end. Um, I know you mentioned it a bit earlier, but obviously early starts today at 11 a.m. Can you talk about how you guys were able to come out and really have that full force right from the start of the tip and really just keep going despite the early start? We talked about it. I think it helps. We practice right now in the morning, so we're, we're used to practices at 9 a.m., but there's going to be games during the season. We have another field trip game, Big Ten tournament. You might tip at 11 as well as uh, postseason if you're fortunate enough to be in the NCAA. So just wanting to set that tone. And, and I thought uh, we really did uh, from the tip. Anything else for Coach Thank you.